Thank you so much for the 500 subscribers. This is pretty crazy. It's been a pretty steady growth, um, and I'm really happy that the chemistry videos have been taking off. A little background into why I'm making the chemistry videos. The main reason why I'm making these chemistry videos is that I fully believe at some point in the next 5, 10, 20 years, college as we know it, of going there four, five, six, seven years and paying however many thousands of dollars that's just steadily growing uh, on, the, on the yearly isn't going to be sustainable. I think that that's the biggest reason. There's going to be other outlets of whether it's institutions like Google and some of their courses or kind of like private people making courses, kind of like Jordan Peterson. There's just going to be a rise of it and a decrease in the cost of it. And I hope to be a part of it. Um, even if my chemistry videos aren't the main staple, I hope to push the needle. That's, that's the main reason. Um, I've been in college. It took seven years to get my bachelor's, four years to get my PhD, which is pretty crazy. Uh, usually it's the other way around. Um, but I finally got my stuff together in graduate school and just learning how much money I was losing every single year by being in school is is another major factor. Also, I'm not going to tell my kid that he needs to go to college. When I was growing up, whether that's you as well, we were told, I feel, go to college either by our parents, um, by society, by our school admin. Um, now, I'm definitely not going to tell my kid that he has to go to college to be successful. The society at large isn't telling kids to go to college, um, not at least as hard as it used to be. It's just the values, the value is not there. That's not even talking about the issues with the colleges themselves, whether it's the professors, the admin, it's just not sustainable in the upcoming years as it has been. Uh, that's the biggest reason that I'm making these videos is that I hope to provide a way for my son in the future to not lose out on years and years of earning potential and end up being living in below poverty terms while going to college for however many years. There's no reason why you can't have online classes and still go out and have fun with your friends. I don't I never made any friends in my classroom. I made all my friends while doing things like playing sports or going out to bars, going out to parties and stuff like that. I don't have a single friend from one of my classes. Um, maybe you're different. Maybe I'm different, but that's how I see it. Why can't you have a set list of t classes to take, get those classes done, and then go out and do whatever you want, whether that's working another job or hanging out with your friends. My hope is that someday I would like to wrap this all into a single course, like a general chemistry course, where you don't even have to watch the videos, but there is a test at the end. And if you pass the test, you get credit for it. The test would cost, you know, anywhere from 50 to probably $50, just so people don't, so people that take it seriously. And then from there, if you pass it, passing being 90%, not this, BS 60%, 70% is passing. No, there needs to be a standard and the standard needs to be held. Not everybody should be a chemist, just like not everybody should be a writer. I could never be a writer. Um, I do not care about English, the grammar or anything like that. And the people that do enjoy that stuff do not care about atoms or protons. So to each their own and we need writers as just as well as we need chemists. So the standard needs to be upheld. Um, but anyways, once you pass said test, get the credit and it costs you $50. Eventually with how much money the government is giving these schools, whether it's just like the Pell Grants of the multiple thousands of dollars a year, if you pass the, cl the class, why can't you get paid for passing that? There needs to be an incentive to get good grades. Otherwise, the only thing right now that kids care about is the grade itself. And if you increase that incentive of, hey, you can get a monetary reward of $100 or $500 for passing this class, then that's just going to increase the
the likelihood that a student is going to take the class and try. Because right now, stats around the nation and colleges attendance is drastically, drastically decreasing because the value is not there. You end up not only losing all the money that you potentially can earn during those years, but you're having to pay for it. And the value of your piece of paper, there's little to no value and that value is decreasing every year. So there needs to be some type of incentive that increases the value and the students will come back. But I appreciate you subscribing. And this is just a little bit of background of why I make the chemistry videos. Take care and much love.